Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of GBTV. I'm Lucas Richardson, and today I'm chatting with the winning team in the Preakness Stuckman Classic Tournament. The California Chrome Division captured the championship today with team members Brady Kerr, Candy Kerr, Dave Jones, Bill Dix, and Colton Goo. They battled Smarty Jones Division team. The, the, they battled the Smarty Jones Division team, to, consisting of the team members, team members Chris, Kristen Mack, Johnny Wilson, J. D. Davis Jr., Greg Schreifer, and Don Capernarno. Capernarno. It was an exciting match with a difference in team scores of six pins. Thank you for chatting with me today, everyone. Can you each introduce yourself and tell us how you bowl? Uh, and can you each introduce yourself and tell us what house you bowl out of? Uh, hi, my name is Brady Kerr, and I bowl out of AMF Merit. I'm Candy Kerr, and I bowl out of AMF Merit. Dave Jones, I bowl out of AMF Merritt. Colton Goo, bowl out of Walkersville Lanes. Phil Dix, bowl out of AMF Thunder. I do. <laughs> How do you know each other? And did you bowl in this tournament last year with the same team? Uh, I did not bowl in it. This is my first year, and Colton I bowled with in the youth league. He's been a good longtime friend. Dave Jones is my idol. You know, I look up to this man. Uh, Candy's my mom, and... Uh, Phil's my mom's boyfriend, so he's technically my stepdad, I guess you can call him. <laughs> How do you feel about your win today? And were you nervous in the final match? Uh, I mean, it's a huge win. I mean, it's awesome. I'm win or lose, you know, finishing in first or second, or even making it to Sunday is a big accomplishment. I mean, it's just a cool thing. You know, it shows that, you know, you're, you're on your top of your game. I think, you know, it's just more about having fun with everybody. And uh, I mean, it's just an all-around good tournament. What do you think your biggest challenge was? When you think about this entire three-day tournament? Uh, consistency. Consistency is the biggest thing that you can do. Uh, and, I mean, it's also, you know, when you're down, if you have a bad game, I mean, we've all been there. If you have a bad game and your teammates are there picking you up, I mean, that's the most important thing. And that's, that's key, always. Can you each tell me what you're going to do with the winnings? Uh, I'm probably just going to put it in my bank account. I probably won't touch it. I have no clue. <laughs> I haven't thought about it yet. but uh, Got some diapers to buy. That's true. <laughs> a little bit in the bank and some car parts. I knew, I knew that. <laughs> Are you going to be back next year com to compete in the third annual Preakness Duckpin Tournament? Uh, I definitely will. As long as my team's here, I'll be here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Definitely. As a part of your prize, you get VIP tickets to the Preakness next week at Pimlico. Has anyone been there before? And what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I have not been there, and I'm very excited because I get to dress up and look good with my girl. <laughs> I've never been, and I'm not exactly certain what's makes it so exciting. I'm not sure. I've never been either, but I'm really looking forward to it. Never been, but next weekend, I'm looking forward to it. Oh. It'll definitely be a different experience for me. And there you have it. The winning team in the Preakness Stockpin Classic Tournament. Don't forget to watch the team sign ups for next year in February for the May 2019 tournament. Spots filled within 10 minutes for this tournament this year. Thank you everyone for watching, and tell your friends to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, and we now have a YouTube channel. I'm Lucas Richardson for GBTV. Green Apple, it's how we roll.